so we are talking finding job in australia is it happening it's still happening okay i see some people saying that they've been applying and stuff and some people say it's not possible to get a job in australia some people say how do i do my cv some people say i sent email they uh there was no response or apply for a job but there was no response i say do not give up i say it is happening i say people are still getting job outside from australia however it's not much that you get a job before you can come to australia there are so many ways to come to australia without a job however can you pay for it however are you qualified another however are you ready to shoot or you are just throwing bullets anyhow okay are you ready are you aiming the target okay in this video today we're going to talk about getting a job in australia what it entails what you have to put in order for you to shoot and shoot right okay all right if that sounds like something you want to hear please sit back and let's dig in hi everyone welcome to my channel jen kenny's creation where we keep it real my name is jen and i live in australia welcome welcome thank you my subscribers you guys rock like you rock you melt my heart okay i love you guys you know i do and if you are new here please do subscribe to my channel for more of this type of gist like we talk migration we talk australia we talk lifestyle we talk everything here things you need to know to make a good decision informed decision in your migration journey and living your best life okay all right so let's talk this how is your cv there is nothing like there is a particular CV or something that the thing is that what is in your CV what I've noticed is that most people that are shooting for international job they use one CV and shoot for all the jobs no each employer has its own criteria for a job for example you might be looking for a job as a mechanic and this employer will list all the responsibility and criteria they are looking for another company that is looking for the same mechanic will have their different responsibility and criteria and roles what you need to do is that you got to, you got to, you must you got to edit your cv okay to show those skills and show that you've had this responsibility that you can prove that you have all the qualities the skills they have mentioned in their job advertisement that job advertisement is for a reason okay in australia again there is what is called selection criteria how does it go okay let's use for example i need to use something i know very well let's use nothing for example okay so if they put selection criteria, you need to address it. For example, they say something like selection criteria. They say that the person must have work as a note for more than two years. You need to explain in your uh, uh, CV or in your job application or your cover letter that you have worked in so so place. Mention the place you have worked from this year to this year and this year to show that you've been a nurse for more than two years. You've worked for more than two years. And they say that the person must be able to set IV line. Okay then you need to share that you have these skills you need to show them like you say that when i work in a, a st mary's hospital uh, a, a, in 2008 to 2010 i do this i did that i did this i was able to say i i do this kind of thing i said i before i could manage a, a patient with this sickness and said the iv unsupervised or maybe supervised or something you know show that you have that skill they talk about communication skills team lead a, a team member team players and so on you show them that you've worked in a team this is the you draw strength you whatever you share with people the team you work well in team you work in this team and this team you're able to contribute and also respect people you share ideas you draw from the strength of others and so on also you give back as well you know how you interact with people you talk about interpersonal skills you talk about your own interpersonal skill places you have worked and award you have received and how you communicate with people interact with even the client and your 
colleague as well so you just need to express that and let them know that you have it this one is different from the job rules it's just the criteria they want from you as an employee if they are going to take you you must have all this okay qualities or skills or experience whatever they say they want okay you just need to give it to them okay so Tell her your CV according to that particular job. Do not use a generic CV to apply for a job. I know you are an accountant. Every ac accounting company or every company that is advertising for accountant have their own different rules and criteria, skills, responsibility and stuff. Go back and edit your CV and match that. It is very important that you do that okay very 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 important that you do that okay so we've talked about selection criteria which you will see somewhere in some of the job ads not in all the job ads okay in some of the job ads you will see it then address it okay and i remember someone uh, sent me dm about two months ago, just before christmas and said they asked her to tell her cv according to her she couldn't understand it i, I simply said to her go back to that job advertisement you will see the rules and rules and uh, 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 qualities and skills and everything they want they want you to adjust your cv to reflect that you have those things those qualities those responsibility hold you can prove it and so on okay that is what they mean they don't like generic cv someone told me was looking for administrative assistant and you've been shooting for i'm like for how long there are some jobs you don't go and shoot for administrative assistant can happen offshore I'm sure you know someone can be in Australia and have someone in, 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 in Nigeria, in Ghana, in India as a secretary or administrative assistant and so on. So that's not the kind of job that will give you visa. It cannot bring you to Australia. Okay. So you should know what you are shooting for. For people that are still looking for aged care, uh, healthcare assistant, please tell her your CV according to each one you find. Okay. And start talking about you things you have done in your cv as well or a cover letter you attach if there is no selection criteria most of the time when there when when there is a selection criteria attached to a job ad they will tell you to write something like a cover letter addressing the selection criteria then you start telling them how you have all those qualities and you have done all those things you this they 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 uh, demonstrate how you have uh, uh, done those uh, um things they mentioned okay how you have those skills they've mentioned if it's qualification as well you have to mention that okay so these are the things you have to be in mind then another one is that where are you searching for this job okay um when you are searching for job i've mentioned in my previous videos that we have what is called indeed australia we have jora australia we have um seek and so many other of them i'm going to drop them as well their link as well on the description of this video the thing is that when you're searching search for visa sponsorship okay however if you think you can still search local job and shoot via the contact person in the uh, uh, application by writing the emails a short email attach your cv don't go and write stories of your life how you want to run away from nigeria this thing is so draining why are you telling people this thing that your government is so bad you want to run away from nigeria they should employ you oh my goodness they will not they will not you need to sell yourself it's not no one employing you for pity they're employing you for what you have what they see in you not for pity purposes no one will ever do that okay that one is different from finding a lover you know how you go online and find a lover and i want to bring you help you jack but that one is so so different that one is totally different an employer want to employ skill quality you want to employ someone that will render the job they want to make profit too they're not bringing you because you want to run away from your country because how bad your country is unless you're seeking asylum that is different but this one you are looking for a job this is, we're talking about job here okay you know what the employer wants you give it to the employer okay so another thing is that australia cv we don't add um pictures photos if they want to find you they will find you anyways you're in social you're on linkedin and so on so but it's against the uh, uh fairness and the equity in recruitment okay most hr companies hr they have that against their decision so once you bring in the recruiter will trash your cv 
Don't show them your beautiful faces and handsome faces yet. It's not yet time. Hide it. Hide it a little bit, you know. Hide it. Hide it. Let them find you, okay? All right. So, please don't do that, okay? And make your CV very simple and readable, okay? Don't just, most of the time, listing points form, you got to explain some things when they talk about selection criteria. You need to tell them how you have achieved those things, okay? All right. And maybe one day I'm going to share... um some of my previous cvs when i started as a nurse and so on okay i've shared those cv with some people living locally here so why not share it not cv selection criteria yes yeah, selection criteria why not share it with all of you so you see what we mean by selection criteria but not all states that require selection criteria is you know australia is huge like so many states and territories in western australia where i live there is selection criteria in most of the jobs you have to address it but someone said in victoria they don't and I, i've noticed that they don't but some people say they do it depends on the company so but i know that state and territory varies on how they advertise jobs okay so in most of the jobs online will not see selection criteria you just need to address your cv to show that you have all the qualities and the responsibility they have mentioned that you show you have carried it out in the past which means you have skills in them that is the target that is the major thing you need to prove in australia uh, uh, cv because you know what they do here the recruiter what they do when they get that cv for example they say this person must have two years experience in nursing or in carpentry or whatever they take it so the second one they said interpersonal skill and you show them you have interpersonal skill they take it there was a second one they said your team lead team player you, you express it they're looking for your cv is showing they take it so that's how they select your cv to go to the next level so that's why i say tell on your cv so that they can tick you off one by one okay they say that this person must do an iv injection for example this person must know how to do diesel mechanic whatever they take it off this is an example i'm saying okay so they take it for that's why they take you your cv take you to the next level of recruitment if they cannot find up to some percentage depending on their policy or the criteria they set or standard then they won't you won't go forward or they look at your cv so sharp they is you know it doesn't make sense to them and they will come to you another thing is that please don't just apply and apply and say you are tired how can you be tired when you haven't won your crown now unless you have plan b but even if you have plan b don't give up in the job site as long as you know that your job your occupation is in demand in australia there are some occupation that you hardly get a job offshore before you come because it requires registration it means that you need to register before you can get a job so if you're one of those professions then the target is to register before someone can employ you because you are not recognized as that thing for example nursing if you are not registered with APRA you cannot practice example pharmacist if you're not registered as a pharmacist in Australia you cannot get a job so no one will employ you that's for example so actually know which one is first and which one is second but as for job people are getting it okay it is still possible however that's not the only way to come to Australia with a work visa visa 491 190 189 uh 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 168 they are all or 186 i can't i think i'm changing them over they are all work visas okay so whichever one you're going for good luck in that one as you are shooting just know if you don't make it this time someone somewhere made it as long as it's a sponsorship job so when you're searching for job again in those job bank please add visa sponsorship job unless you want to shoot for local one to try your luck okay all right so that brings us to the end of this video if you have your question drop it in the comment section i am back like i am fully fully back okay all right so good luck in your australia migration journey or journey to any other country of your choice okay australia is a beautiful country you are in you are in for life you die like you are sealed in okay so that's one thing you aren't going anywhere you are here you are good to go okay so if you're pursuing australia keep going keep going i know there is this huge thing with age 45 years yes if not your spouse can be a main applicant 
once you get your permanent residence, citizenship has nothing to do with your age. You are good to go. Okay. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and become a member of this beautiful family where we keep it true. Keep keeping your face. We keep seeing you and we keep being active. Okay. We keep keeping it real. All right. Okay. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.